In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up WooCommerce quantity based pricing in just a few simple steps. So for example, if you want to create a quantity based pricing like this, here we're given a £5 off per item and you can see the discounted price here. Or you might want to structure it like this, here we're given a percentage discount and here you can see the discounted price also. Or maybe you want to do a fixed price quantity based pricing like this where as you can see purchase one to five items you'll get it for this set price purchase six to ten you'll get it for this set price here as well so there's different ways you can do it, and you can set this up on a product level or even on a global level if you want it as well you can bulk import your pricing groups directly to the product level so if you want to create something similar to this, I'll show you how to achieve it in just a few simple steps. So without further ado, let's get straight into it. So the first step is to head over to WooSuite.com and go ahead and download and install the dynamic pricing and discount rules plugin. Assuming you've done so, let's head back over to our WordPress dashboard. Okay, so to install the plugin, you just go plugins, add new, go ahead and upload and install the plugin. Once you've done so, you'll see this WooSuite menu. Then you just want to go ahead and activate your license key and install the dynamic pricing and discount rules plugin. So here you can see some global settings so we can create order totals and many other things. But for this video, I'm just going to stick to creating our quantity based pricing. So we can set it on a global level. So we can set different quantity based pricing per category. Or you can set it up on a product level, which we will go ahead and do now. So for example, let me show you exactly how each of these pricing groups are set up. So for this particular product, let's just go ahead and edit product. You can see we're doing a percentage based discount per pricing tier. Okay, so you want to navigate to where you can see this pricing discount rules tab. And here's the settings for the rules that you can see on the front end. So how it works is, so we've got applies to, so this is where we get to choose who we want this particular discount rule to apply to. So we can set it to everyone or guest users, meaning all users logged out of the site or a specific user role or a specific user as well. So for now, it's just set to everyone. And then you've also got the option to only offer this quantity based pricing to first time buyers only. So you just go ahead and toggle this on. I'm going to go ahead and leave it off. And in here where it says quantity based on the product quantity. And for the processing mode, we'll select the bulk for our volume based pricing. You've also got the option to select tiered based pricing as well. And special offers, so buy one, get one free. Those sort of things can be done with special offers. So we'll leave it for bulk. And then here where you've set the dates, you can go ahead and schedule this promotional offer to run within a given date. So you've got a start date and the an end date. And then here's our three different tiers. So the first tier is one to 20. It's a percentage discount of 5%. Then the second tier is 21 to 50. It's a percentage discount of 7%. Notice we're not using the percentage um, symbol. And then here, this one's important to note as well. So we say 51 and above. So to say above, we'll use the asterisk sign. And then we've got a percentage discount of 10%. To change the type, we can just simply select it here. So we can easily change this to a price discount or we can set it to a fixed price. If we set this to a fixed price, then any item within this tier would be available at five dollars so i'm going to leave it as percentage discount for now so that that's how things are set up in the back end and if we go ahead and view this product again we can see the discount here as well also worth noting say for example if you want to target different user segment with different rules we can go ahead and duplicate this one to speed up the editing process or we can go ahead and create a new pricing group so i'm going to do that now just so you see exactly how it is when you first create your pricing group. So it will look like this and we can go ahead and fill it out. So to add a new pricing tier, we'll click this plus icon and to remove it, we'll just click the minus icon. So we can add as many pricing tier as we like. And that's how you'll do that to set, to create this offer for a specific user role. We'll just select specific user role here and then just go ahead and select the user role. So we can create a tier based pricing only for our wholesale customers, meaning our regular um, retail customers and all other user role, we'll just get the standard pricing. So I'm going to go ahead and delete this pricing group. 
And to set up the quantity based pricing on a global level is the same concept. So let's go ahead and do this now. So we'll navigate to where it says advanced rules. Okay. And we've already got a rule created here for another, for a previous video. So where it says admin title, we'll give this a internal name. So, okay. So I've named mine quantity pricing for our air purifying category, right? Okay. And then here where it says quantities based on. So you can base it on um, the sum of the category, meaning it will look at all items within the category and give the discounts accordingly. Or you can set it on a cart line item quantity, meaning it will count the individual quantity of each product added to cart. Okay, so where it says categories count, here we want to select the category that we want to trigger this promotion. And then here where it says category adjust, this is the category that we'll be applying a discount to. So the re reason why we've got two fields here, let's say for example, Example, you wanted to create a promotion where you say, for example, buy X amount of item in our air purifying category and we'll give you a discount within our rugs category, for example. So here we would probably select, we don't have a rugs category, but if we did, we'd select it here. So this is why we've got two options, but since the discount will only be applied to the air purifying category, we'll go ahead and select air purifying category again here. Okay, just like on the product page where it says applies to, we choose who we want to apply this um, discount to. Same as before as well, first time buyer, we'll leave this turned off. And then role processing mode, we'll select bulk here. So if you notice, we've got a few extra options here as well. That's for another video. So we'll select bulk for our quantity based pricing. And in here, what's also unique on a um, global level as well. So where it says applies without coupon. So we can trigger this rule to automatically apply once our threshold has been met. Or maybe you want to set it to only be triggered when someone enters in a particular coupon code. So we'll set this without coupon. Okay, and dates. So again, we can schedule this campaign to run within a given date period where it says quantity pricing, just like on the product page, we'll go ahead and create our different tiers. So we just click add new. So we could say, for example, one to 10, we'll give a percentage discount of 5% and maybe 11 to 20, we'll give a percentage discount of 7%. And then let's say 21 and above. So to stay above, we'll use the asterisk sign and we'll also give a percentage discount of say 10%. Okay, and then you just save changes. And that's how you create a quantity-based pricing within WooCommerce in just a few simple steps. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe for more videos like this. If you've got any questions, leave it in the comment box below or reach out to support and we'll get back to you as soon as possible.